friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Chai and welcome to my channel. My goal is to empower you to shine your unique light into the world. With that said, let's get started. All right, everyone, I'm so excited about this one because it is one of my favorite topics to really go into. Um, so what, what secretly makes you a genius, okay? So now let's start with how does society define the word genius? So a lot of people would relate this word to having taken the IQ test, right? And scoring very high on um, highly above the normal bracket. But let me ask you this, how do you determine if the test is faulty or not faulty, or even if it's like adequate or inadequate, right? So like, or should there be more than just weak intelligence that should, um, you know, that should be considered genius? You like, do you know what I mean? Like, I think, I personally believe that we all have a sense of genius within us um, in our natural ability. So my purpose for this video is to open you up to more refinement in your inner ability and through your own personal genius you can actually level up in life always okay so don't so please don't let a test that was made up for one type of extreme intelligence versus all the other ones to determine your worth or what is deemed alpha quality okay so now if you like pick a cards like this one where i actually create an informative um topics that focus on and promote self-empowerment uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and that beautiful big bell to be informed when my next video is uploaded. Okay, so let's get started. I'll Hi, group number one. Thanks for joining me here. If you picked out this timestamp, it is for group number one. Okay, so let's see here. Group number one, you have picked out the carnelian stone. This is all about creativity. It's all about wonderful sacral energies. Um, let's see what we've got here. So again, the main topic for today, if you haven't looked at the intro, because um, I do put a lot of details in the intro, but the, the question is what secretly makes you a genius? You, you may not realize this, but there is genius within all of us. And this is going to kind of tap into that, okay? So let's see, the first card, boom. <gasps> yes, Sir Crocoit, look at that, that's gorgeous. Ooh, sexuality. I know some of you are giggling right now because <laughs> you're probably resonating with that tremendously because I totally do. Nine of Raphael, look at that. Wow, wishes coming true. Life energy. Discernment. Okay, so when the discernment card comes out, there's some kind of truth that's coming out for you to kind of utilize that aspect of you, right? The uh, balancing out and analyzing. Porcupine spirit. I'll actually put that right over here. You may or may not see it through the, um, the visual, but I'll pick it up. Bobcat spirit. Ooh, strength. Wow, this is like getting goosebumps. Death. So, um, okay, all right. Um, Page of Swords, I'm gonna elaborate once I am done pulling them out. Seven of Wands, again, remember, what secretly makes you a genius, okay? Five of Wands. And then we've got the Seven of Cups. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous cards. All right. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually going to put the seven of cuts over here. All right. Group number one. What I'm really, really um, being called to initially is basically um, the Crocoit crystal. But I just also want to mention that don't forget to stay until the end of your reading because for the bonus physical or personal trait, I'm going to actually pull out this here okay and we're going to kind of um tap into what features you may have right because this is through um i i did a lot of research and i looked up a lot of different physical or personality traits according to what geniuses are um or carry so but it's according to studies all right so it's it's, it's some facts there but all right all right okay so let's get started with this so group number one what I am really, really call, uh, being called to is the Crocoite. And I'm going to pick that up right over here. All right. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone. So um, actually, let me back that up a little bit. Okay, so the Crocoite, right? It's a very vibrant orange crystal. So 
that it actually relates to the sacral chakra, like the um, carnelian, right? And there is, um, there's a lot of creative spark and, and things that are cultivated within the, um, the sacral chakra. And it's very, very, so this actually tells me that you are a very creative being, okay? You're, you're just a ball, a fireball, basically. And that kind of makes sense because sexuality really is like a fireball you know if you if you have heard of the kundalini energies and things like that you can look that up but um that's for another time but anyway so this tells me that you are extremely skilled with your body you're extremely skilled with creativity and art or anything artistic okay so already group number one i can already tell that you are basically the group that is very artistically intelligent okay so you basically is the um you have an artistic genius. So there's something that you do that's very unmatched and um, not a lot of people can do the things that you do in terms of the arts, okay? That could be dancing, singing, that could be, um, you know, just drawing and painting, things like that, all right? So creativity is really huge with you guys. All right, so when I saw the nine of Raphael, group number one, I already know for like, it's just this really huge gut feeling, right? that this tells me that if you pursue the creative arts, your world will be taken care of, you know? Um, like monetary gains will flow easily for you when you are in your natural element, okay? So just keep that in mind. And this, especially this card, this card is a huge indicator that your wish will come true and it's time to believe in that. So there's something about uh, your belief system or something about you not be having enough belief in yourself in terms of your creative arts. Um, and you being a genius in that aspect. Um, I think that this is why you've been called to this reading is because spirit is actually showing you or confirming or validating that you are that genius within the arts, okay? So move forward with your passions. Like I'm, I'm feeling so vibrant within that energy right now, okay? So because that is basically the genie here offering you that opportunity to go ahead and move forward with your dreams in terms of that, okay? So, and if you already have, then I'm very proud of you and, and do not worry, it'll take time, but success is within reach, all right? So, with that said, when I am looking at, let's see, I'm going to go through a lot of the oracle cards first. So, with all of this beautiful sexual energy, I look at the life energy and this is the, the fairy, right? So this, this fairy is of life energy and she's stating that you may have a fear of being seen, okay? Or maybe you distrust your own cre creative ability. Sorry, uh, let me actually drink uh, some water here. Mm. I'm like a little dehydrated today. Okay, so basically that it's exactly why I said what I said earlier about there's some type of like lack mentality or disbelief or something that you don't feel like you trust your your inner knowing that you are meant to pursue the arts okay but you do as you wish you know everyone has free will so you do as you wish but basically the life energy card really talks about um shining as brightly as you can okay and also shining light upon the shadow aspects of yourself in order to heal it so if there's something about you that you need to kind of take a look at before you move to the next step i do recommend for you to do that because when you because if you're okay imagine yourself going up the hill right but if you're you're carrying a lot of baggages going up the hill it's a lot harder for you to move up the hill and a lot slower for you to move up there with all those baggages you're carrying, right? But if you just let go of those baggages, you're able to actually reach your goal up on top of the mountain a lot faster, okay? So I hope that kind of paints a picture of what what that meant, what that means for you because for this fairy to come out, it really talks about that. It really talks about you having to let go and shining a light upon what you need to work on in order to move to the next step. And that really does talk about discernment too. So only you, okay, nobody else, only you know what you have to figure out, right? Only you know what what kinds of um, truth you have within you, okay? So, you know, the discernment card, according to this particular message from the mermaids, it's really telling me that you're about to discover something new about your reality or something new about yourself, okay? 
So maybe this is the reading that you're discovering about yourself um, or something else that's going to happen within the next few days. It also requires you to take some time to digest the information that you're going to get before you make your final decision. Okay, so take this time to actually really take some time to meditate and and figure things out before you um, move forward to the next step. But it really talks about the porcupine spirit too, because when I look at this porcupine spirit, right? Oops, sorry. When I look at this porcupine spirit, it really, really shows me that, wow, a lot of, I just got like a surge of energy going through my uh, left leg all the way up to my right arm. This could also indicate that you probably, hmm, you probably use your right hemisphere of the brain a lot more, which really depicts the creativity part, right? So the porcupine spirit is, it indicates that there is so much waiting for you, okay? You have yet to discover it. And it really requires you to allow your creative self to be like more playful and be in your own element, okay? So basically, it's almost like embodying the inquisitive mind of a child. Be very, very curious about the world. Be curious about your own inner ability, right? Discover and tap into your own divinity now because, you know, this is your genius. You are very, um, you have ingenuity and you are a genius in, the, in this aspect, okay? So discover without any reservations, but also keep in mind to, be, to stay safe, at, you know, as always, because the porcupine also talks about that too, because you know, with the quills, they shoot out the quills to protect themselves. So be observant, be adventurous, but be also very safe within your own space as well. But you can also do that with, um, you know, still having fun with life is basically what the porcupine spirit is about. Okay, so with that, I am going to take you to the strength card, because the strength card, um, I don't know if you, sorry. So the strength card for me is basically you believing in yourself. Okay, so this really taps into the um, the solar plexus chakra too. So that's the yellow chakra within your gut area, um, up where the, the tummy area is, your pit, the pit of the stomach, okay? Right underneath your heart chakra. So this is talking about you knowing your passions for the arts and you um, that your passions for the art will provide the life that you desire, okay? So basically, Group number one, you are really guided by spirit to really move forward in strength and, and conviction. Yes, that is the word I was looking for the whole time. So move forward with conviction because you've got the bobcat spirit. And this is about life being a mystery, but at the same time, right? So this card indicates that not everything you encounter is going to be able to be explained at that moment in time, especially not by the power of your intellect, meaning your brain, right? So it's not through your thinking, but through your feeling of your body, your th through the feeling of your energies, right? So creativity and creative juices flow through your body, almost like a super, you know, just this really super entity, right? So you're being called to really trust the universe, allow things to like really unfold as you walk, okay? So your journey, you know, I, when I really see this bobcat, I see bravery. I, well, of course, the strength card is right here, right? It talks about being brave, right? Being um, in the limelight as well. So you are meant to be seen with your arts, okay? You, in a way, it almost, because the strength card, in, sorry, I keep putting it back and forth, but I'm, I'm going according to what I'm channeling. So don't mind me. I'm just, you know, kind of like, I have like the sporadic energy jumping from one point to another. And maybe because it's the crocoid sexual energy, but it really, I'm tapping into the energies of when I look at the traditional tarot um, with the Rider Waite tarot, it's a picture of a woman opening up a lion's mouth and taming it in a way that has never been done before, okay? So in a way she was showing off, but with, with utmost respect, like she's not showing off as an arrogant person, but she's showing off to show the world that this is what she can do, this is what she is meant to do, to tame the lion, to really show the lion what life can really be about, right? So that's the kind of genius that you have, okay? So take that, take that group number one and really just run with it. Um, uh, what, what else do I feel about the bobcat spirit? Really just amazing energies and a lot of feminine energies, that's what I'm feeling, okay? 
Now, whew, wow, that was like a lot of information that came through right through my body. So with strength, there's always going to be a transformation because I'm looking at, here, I'll actually pick up these cards here, okay? Yeah. Yep. All right, so now a lot of people, if you, uh, well, if you're not familiar with the death card, the word death isn't like literal physical death. You're not going to, you know, it's just, it's more of um, a metaphysical, uh, spiritual thing where you basically shed your old self and, and come out of the cocoon, like a butterfly, right? Um, always morphing and metamorphosis is in play, transformation, okay? So you are basically a genius at major transformations, what I'm getting, and um, especially the physical body, um, especially in the arts too. So basically, it's almost like your energy is all about like, always one upping yourself, right? Always moving forward and improving in such a major way that a lot, you blow people out of the waters when it comes to the creative arts, okay? You are basically the genius group number one. So really like claim it, claim that energy, claim that genius, you know? You have great ingenuity, like I said before. You're very, very um, just amazing. So when I see the death card here, it really, it's like, it's telling me that your ability to complete a stage and transform is really unmatched, all right? So don't be afraid of that card because it's really talking about you being able to complete a cycle and opening more doors for yourself. So if this is a message for you really um, to move forward with your your creative arts, this is definitely something that is a, um, a validation because I see an image of one door closes, another door opens for you, all right? So now, the page of swords really for me this indicates that you are a nat you're basically naturally energetic okay you're full of vibrant curiosity in general because pages are all about learning new things and and um especially when it, it comes to like you have a lot of great ideas that come into play but a lot of times the great those great ideas i do have to mention and spirit is showing me that you tend to draw either draw or write those ideas down and then you crumble it up and you toss it into the trash barrel and that's something that for like i just got goosebumps coming from my crown chakra all the way to my shin okay the uh my leg so basically that's confirmation for me that this is tapping into some of you that 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 really just invalidate yourself and you don't really trust your 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 solar plexus chakra right that's why the strength card came out because you're not really trusting your own ability to really shine but guess what those ideas start picking those back up the the you know the whole like notepads or what the crumbled paper pick it up one day, look at it, really take some time to really brew in that idea and put it aside because you just may never know when that idea is going to be very useful later on, okay? That's the thing about ingenuity is that it may come to you in, in such a passing and passive way, but then later on, you're gonna be able to kind of create something extremely, um, you know, just out of this world, right? And then you're like, wow, why didn't I like, take care of that before? Why didn't I just move forward with it and create it now? Well, everything has divine timing. So maybe that's why you didn't feel the need to keep it at that time. But from now on, I do recommend for you to keep all of your ideas in a book or something that will actually you be able to refer back to later on. Okay, group number one, this is huge for you guys, a huge message. So, um, <laughs> So yeah, seven of wands. Like when I see seven of wands, this is really telling me that a lot of your past in your past or maybe even your current too so basically the seven of wands is really it's really talking about your ability to stand your ground even when someone opposes you even either in a physical way or an argument okay so you're ba you're able to kind of like fight for your rights type of deal right but it also kind of indicates because you are of the physical too because you're very good with your body you might actually be into martial arts um, this is what I'm picking up. You might actually um, do Krav Maga or something like that or um, Jiu Jitsu, something like that. That's why I see those words popping into my brain like right at that moment when I saw this card. So if you are like a natural talent at that, you're going to be able to own several places I see. Okay, so that's one message for one person or more. Um, but 
it, it's like, it's almost like you, but you do it in a different way, in a way that other people wouldn't have thought of, right? So you're that kind of genius, okay? So trust in your own ability. Oh my gosh. I'm like trying to, like, <laughs> I'm like getting, it's so funny. I'm getting like rattled up about this because I wish I had someone to tell me about some, some things about myself that I had just found out. So I'm really, really, I'm being that person, that friend for you because you really need to trust yourself and your own ability to, to be able to deliver this dream for yourself, okay? Because you've got the Nine of Raphael. That doesn't come out um, every so often in my readings, all right? So, okay, so Seven of Wands, wow. It's like your willpower to overcome any physical challenges is amazing because this card really talks about perseverance and, and perseverance at a major scale. So you basically have a lot of practice in terms of holding your ground because, um, yeah, see, a lot of people here trying to come at you, but you're able to like, hey, you know what? But you're very tactful about it. So, you know, um, very charismatic, I notice. I, I'm seeing an image of you talking to a group of people, but when you really demand your, 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 um, you know, your attention, you do it in a way that's very tactful, okay? So people actually pay respects to you for that because you really hold your, your ground. Like even if people are having opposing opinions about things uh, with the topic that you guys are talking about, but they're able to kind of see your view because you're, you're that skillful. So with that, right? Because five of wands, here you go. So five of wands really uh, indicate that in the past, your loved ones may not have agreed with the life path you decide on, decided on. Sorry, I can't really barely speak today. Ah, my English. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, maybe I should take another sip. Hold on. Mm. Okay, much better. So my throat. All right. So five of wands, when I'm tapping into this energy, it really talks about um, just a lot of conflict, right? So you, maybe that's why you haven't really found that footing in terms of trusting your inner ability, your natural talent, your extremely naturally talented um, self to really shine because there were people in the past or even right now um, for some um, that are basically telling you that you're no good or that you're not worth it or, you know, that's the thing about geniuses is that you don't have to be great at everything, but you excel in one particular thing or more, right? And and, and you do it in a way that that is like, it's just extremely um, profound, all right? So trust in your own ability, all right? Because look, you have got the seven of cups in this particular um message here group number one for you okay so this really talks about you having more options and you having more opportunities in terms of the creative art so once you follow your gut feeling uh, and your your genius within you to actually move forward with that part of you um, more opportunities are going to be open for you and you're not going to be confused, even though sometimes this card can indicate confusion because there's just so many things to look at. But for you, group number one, I'm really tapping into you being really strong and knowing which way you want to go. Okay. Because st the strength card comes out, um, to really also show you that you have the strength to make that decision and that discernment, right? Because where did the discernment card go? Yes. You have the ability to discern what is good for you and what is your feeling and what is meant for you, okay? Wow, okay. So group number one, with that, I will go ahead and pull out. Actually, let me put this here. All right, so remember, this is, um, I mean, this is not like, you know, this is something that I think would be a lot of fun for you guys. I mean, you, you know, may or may not resonate with it, but I have like done a lot of research in terms of the physical traits and the personality traits in ter uh, for geniuses. So let's see which one you may have. Okay. It's just more validation. All right. Group number one. Ooh, four. Yes. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm just so excited because I'm excited to see what comes. Wow. Okay, so for some of you, you may have rectangular or triangular face shape. So you guys are basically logical thinkers, all right? So even though, wow, this is amazing because 
um, a lot of times you are very practical and you're very practical with your body. So you listen to your body very well and you, you can kind of see things, even though you're very creative, you can see things very objectively and you move forward with that. So you have like a double dose of beautiful, beautiful um, intuition with your body and mind. Okay, so, and then for others of you, or maybe, yep, diamond shape. Uh, okay, so this really talks about perfectionism. So perfectionist, so a lot of those um, through studies, right, scientific studies, they say that diamond shape uh, individuals or people tend to be a little more on the perfectionist side. So if you are always kind of like, ah, I could have done better or like, oh, why didn't I do this? Or it has to be A, B, C, D, like really, really just perfect, right? So I am getting that. That's actually a really great quality to have too, because it really talks about you not um, missing any t stones. Uh, you're, you're basically turning every single stone, right? And make, making sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's. But there is a bad side to, not a bad side, I shouldn't say that. There is a, um, you know, just a little bit of a vice or like kind of like um, extreme, right? Polarity here. So for you, okay, perfectionists can tend to be too hard in, on themselves. So I do recommend you to kind of balance out and, and put that in equilibrium and be kind to yourself. Okay. So that's like one of my motto is be kind to yourself. All right. So, but you guys are wonderful. Per, you know, you guys are very, very talented. All right. So one more. Ooh, look at that deep set eyes. I wish I have, um, you know, I'm probably going to look up to see if I can grab some pictures um, in the, for the future. But basically, for some of you, you have deep set eyes. And that really talks about you being very mysterious. So that combined with your creativity, oh my gosh, you are alluring. Like you, people look at your face and they're like, oh, those eyes, those eyes really call. Like, it's almost like spotting a mermaid and hearing her calls. You know, just you're just like captivated. So you, some of, for some of you, you may have deep set eyes. And then finally, let's see, group number one. Oh, wow. So this says wide lips. It means a generous or outgoing. Wow, of course, outgoing, right? Because you guys are so creative and you're very beautifully warm-hearted and generous. So, wow, that is nice. I love this reading, guys. This is awesome. I'm going to pull a couple more charms, okay? Just a, just a few because I feel like for some of you, you guys really love the charms. So let's see what charms come up for you. Group number one. I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So you've got, this is a stocking filled with gifts. Meaning, for me, what I'm tapping for you guys, group number one, it means that you are filled with lots of gifts, creative gifts that are so amazing. And for some of you, you actually like to give out gifts to people and you don't do gifts like anybody else. You are basically genius at it too because the way you wrap it, the way you create little um, you know, accent pieces to it, um, how you create gift bags, you might even have a business in the gift um, you know, uh, field, things like that. Um, let's see, what else am I feeling? I'm feeling like you... Okay, so this is for some of you, you basically, this is a mirror here, a handheld mirror, and it really talks about you basically in your line of work, you empower others to see the gifts within them, okay? And I don't know why I'm getting this, but this is huge. Um, so it's either you have to look at yourself and know that you are the gift to the world as well, um, or that you actually do that for work. You basically put a mirror to people's faces and tell them how beautiful they are, okay? You might even be in cosmetology, things like that. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so group number one, sorry, I was so loud. <laughs> All right, group number one, I hope you like that. Again, you know, um, remember to be kind to yourself and take it one step at a time, okay? Um, if you like content like this, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel because I do um, put out... Um, pick a cards like these for self-empowerment every single weekend, all right? I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, group number two. Thanks for joining me here. So if you pick out this timestamp, it is group, group number two. All right, group number two. Actually, let me take a sip of water here before I start, okay? Mm. All right, group number two. Wow, okay, so basically you have picked out the black tourmaline, all right? So this is a very powerful protective stone. So 
I actually was, um, for the stones, uh, for this particular reading though, I did take a look at the crystal stone to kind of match up that vibration to kind of show the, the visual, but I normally don't do that, but I do not, um, hand pick the cards. I just basically intuitively, uh, with my eyes closed and speaking to spirit and that's how I normally pick my cards. Okay. So it's, it's through shuffling. Okay. So let's get into what this is all about. This is all about what secretly makes you a genius. Okay. So let's see group number two. Don't forget also to stay till the end because you're reading. I will actually, in the end, I will be pulling out the physical or personality trait that I've done some research on and wrote in here, um, according to scientific studies. Okay. So some charms also being pulled later on. But let's get started. Wow. Okay, so group number two, you picked out the black tourmaline. All right, so first card, black tourmaline, which is the protection. Two of Ariel. Shine from within. Ooh. Support. Okay. So remember, I have not, um, it's basically like, this is, wow, it's crazy how synchronistic things are. Uh, canary spirit. Grasshopper spirit. Three of pentacles. Actually, let me put that here. Five of swords. Ace of Cups. Ah, Ten of Wands. You guys are hardworking, man. Five of Swords. Wait, did we just get Five of Swords earlier? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you, you've you got Five of Swords twice. All right, so that's like, that's telling me a lot already. But I, I was guided to place it at the support area, so... You've got, you guys got a lot of backups though. Eight of swords. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Whew. All right. So group number two, what I'm noticing here is that you guys have a lot of social ability. Okay. To the extreme actually, basically, but let's tap into that. That makes a total lot of sense because black tourmaline is a stone for protection and, um, it's basically, it strengthens and protects the body too. So you have a knack for protecting your own auric space as well, um, because you are usually the group that is with a lot of people. You either do, um, your work is, is in a group setting or something like that. It has something to do with a lot of social. Um, you might be a social worker or you might be, um, you know, just a leader that leads a lot of people in your, in your team, things like that. Okay. So it assists in creating, um, Appropriate boundaries is basically the word that I was looking for. So it basically gives you that healthy boundary. Um, but remember, you are always the crystals are really great for um, assisting. But um, sometimes people tend to use it as a crutch, but because they're so addicted to using crystals, but that's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, just know that you are empowered and you are strong within yourself. It's just all about how you feel within you. Okay. So especially um, in your social life, you have the, I heard the term, um, what's called the empath, the empowered, path, empathic, right? The empowered empath is what I'm trying to say. So basically, uh, but it's good to use crystals to, to also enhance that energy that you already have. Okay. So black tourmaline is all about that. So that really takes me down to this Oracle card here, the two of Ariel. It's a gorgeous, beautiful pink. Now, so you have like a really special way to balance out your work because look at how this, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to giggle like that, but it was just like, I'm just like, if I were to do this, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. So that's your, your, your genius is basically you have a very unorthodox way to create, um, social environment, right? Maybe you might actually be in the, um, the field of like an event a coordinator or something like that, but you do things in such a different kind of way that you're able to kind of balance that, that yin and yang, right? So two of Ariel is really talking about that. And it talks about, um, 
even though you're at work, you know how to play, okay? You you have a very healthy social life, so that's a really good thing. And you make friends very easily too because you are very diplomatic because when you see the yin and yang, it's really talking about balancing out the the, the light and dark um, aspect of, of the situation, but you project or show people, right, um, better ways to kind of be a little bit more, um, you know, just compassionate for both sides you know what I mean? So basically, that's why you make really good friends because you do give people chances to, to, to show themselves, right? So you have the ability to see both sides of the story, really, okay? So open um, open your mind to, to kind of tapping into more of that within you, all right? So because um, this can really open a lot of doors to success because a lot of leaders um, that are really great leaders, they have this, okay? They're able to balance this part out within themselves. Now, Already, I can already tell that you are, right? Because for your group, group number two, you're basically, you have very, very strong social intelligence, okay? You're very great with people. You're social geniuses is basically what I'm seeing, okay? So um, what I'm really caught being called to, where's that card earlier? Because I'm like, yeah, all right. So you've got the support card. So this basically tells me already because you have such a high level of social intelligence. Um, it's it's basically telling me that you. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So you really show support for those you love, and and anyone who has come across your path really most likely become your friend or your ally is what I'm what is what I'm gathering. I actually when I was pausing earlier, I just literally saw an image of you just walking. It's almost like the fool card, right? Just walking. No, sorry. Was it the page of I forgot what was it? The page of wands or something? Um so he's walking with his little knapsack or the fool card and he's taking a leap of faith on his journey, you know? And he's able to he or she doesn't matter. Um, but according to the to the tarot deck, but um, this really talks about you being able to kind of like make friends wherever you go, and because you have like this wonderful, um, it's like an anecdote or a quote that you tend to carry within your heart. It says something like, "What I'm hearing is you can catch more bees with honey than vinegar," right? And this really stands true with you. And if that quote really resonates with you it really validates that you are that social genius okay you have the ability to be that wonderful um just wonderful leader and companion so i really honestly think that you can really do wonders with your ability um to really project yourself in a way that um is very supportive now five of swords oh my gosh okay Actually, let me talk about the Five of Swords later on because I feel like something else is kind of nudging me because I just did the support card and I feel like there's another card that really showcased that you do have the, um, oh, here it is. Because earlier when I pulled it out, I was like, all right, so Three of Pentacles, okay? So this is a huge indication of community, right? It also is a very big indication of your work being seen and being admired by a lot of people. So you are able to kind of create something and pulling a lot of different people from all walks of life, okay? So basically, it's a huge indication that it is with the community, but it also talks about your ability to gather lots of different types of people in one location. Isn't that amazing? That, to me, is genius because you know how many different person personality types you're going to be able to kind of like invite into one spot, right? Because usually when you see a group of people, they tend to have a common commonality, right? But with you, you're able to gather many different types of people to gather in one location. That's how amazing you are. Okay, group number two, it really speaks volume of your social genius at play. This is what I'm talking about. That's why when I saw this card, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Because it really ties into the canary spirit, right? Um, actually, let me talk about the canary spirit now since I'm already picking it up. All right, so I love the canary spirit because I love the color yellow and how vibrant that beautiful golden um, 
yellow is, all right? So basically, this is letting me know that you have a way in um, expressing your thoughts and you have a way to sing your own song, right? You know your own truth and you walk and sing, you know, through the path and, and don't really think about, you don't, it's not that you don't think, but you don't really mind or care about what other think, others think of you. And that's why you're able to kind of move through a lot of different um, walks of life. You get what I'm saying? So you also help others to speak their truth too. So this is really like, that's why you have a lot of, um, a lot of friends if you haven't noticed or you may have like a close circle that is smaller but you do have a lot of admirers okay outside of your circle so just be mindful about that because that is wonderful achievement all right so um when i am tapping into the canary spirit i'm noticing like wow you're very good with shining the very positive stuff and shining very positive outlook in life for other people so because the bright yellow color really talks about that too it, it talks about you bringing joy to other people right so this is a great sign of being a very social um socially intelligent person and to the point of genius okay so that's really awesome and that's amazing and it's also another uh 12 so one plus two in numerology is three and that also ties into three of pentacles okay like i said everyone you know this particular topic here even though I did look at the crystal card for the crystal pick out, and I normally don't do that, and I don't think I would do that again, but all the other cards really ties in because it was already like shuffled and picked. So look at the synchronicity in this. This is crazy, right? I'm just like, I. if you guys want to see me shuffle and, and do my sessions later on, like in the future, I can do like separate videos for that too. It just takes too long because I have like a really, I have a ritual that I do before I pick um, any of the cards for you guys. So anyway, so back to the reading. <sighs> okay. Yes. So now they're, the, my angels are telling me now you're ready to talk about the five of swords and you have a double dose. Oh my gosh. Woo. I'm like starting to like tear up, like tear up here. Five of swords times two, okay? Because you have the five of swords twice, it really speaks of your ability to have the upper hand in, in a sense, right? Because you've been through a lot. You've been through, you learned so much through all of that conflict and all of that, all of those people that took advantage of you, right? That you were able to kind of learn from what they did, but do it in a way, in a very benevolent way, in a good way, right? So like I said, like people talk about weapons or, or you know, I don't want to use, I don't want to say the word gun, but I already said it. Um, but like, it's like any weapon, right? It really doesn't have anything attached to it. There's no, like, it's not bad until a person or someone use it in a bad way, right? Or any, um, you know, talent or any anything, right? Just basically, it's all about how you use it, any skill. So you are able to kind of, that's your genius here too, is that you're able to take all of the shadow side and then use it as a stepping stone for yourself. So you tend to win the majority vote when you're in a, like, you know, a casting or whatever. And you have plenty of loyal subjects. So this is really telling me that you have the ability to be very diplomatic because you've had practice, my friends. Five, five. You've got a lot of changes that happened to you. You've got a lot of things that has kind of molded you into the person that you are. The social butterfly, but the genius social butterfly. You guys are like, wow. I, I can't believe you know, the ability to do this, the, the, the kind of high level um, talent that you guys have with people, it's amazing. It's like you, you can like tap them on their shoulder and it's almost like you're, you have this like magical power to kind of show them, hey, tap them on the shoulder and you're like, they, they know that you're a good person. They just follow you. That's the kind of energy that I see. It's like an image of that, right? So with that, I'm going to actually take a look here and see, you know, we already talked about the, the past and the conflict and things like that, but I really want to move forward with the future because, okay. Ah, okay. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Which one should I talk about first? Spirit is telling me that I should actually talk about the Ace of Cups. Yes. Why? Hmm. Actually, let me put that here. Sorry. I'm like all over the place today. 
All right, so the Ace of Cups, this beautiful, I, when I see the Ace of Cups, I am seeing a rebirth of relationships, a rebirth of the love that you have for yourself, or like, you just like, oh, okay. No, I don't see the death card here. I think group number one had the death card, but um, Ace of Cups really talks about um, a renewal of something or like a new, um, you know, just fulfillment, like great emotional fulfillment, right? So this really emphasizes that you're extreme. Um, what's, what's the word that I'm looking for? Your showmanship, when it comes to compassion, you are very, very compassionate, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm like, you know, let me actually take a sip of water again, because. So over here where I live, it is getting warmer, so it is getting, you know, I get dehydrated quickly because I need to drink a lot of water. Okay, so you basically, you give people the trust they deserve too, and it reminds them that they are worth the fight. That's why people follow you, okay? Just remember that. So in the end, you basically win their hearts and, you know, it, it in turn, it gives you their loyalty and, and friendship and things like that. And some of, some of you will be getting uh, love offerings too. That's what I'm noticing too, because a lot of times when the Ace of Cups come out, it really talks about um, people who secretly admire you will actually come out into the public and tell you, hey, I really like you. Okay. So just keep that in mind. That's going to happen within the next few days or a week. Now, beautiful, beautiful card. Um, this uh, this is amazing okay this is basically if this is not genius i don't know what to say all right so when i see wait with eight of swords ten of wands and shine from within Ooh. oh wow okay yes okay i'll actually talk about the grasshopper spirit after all right so ten of wands eight of swords and shine from within we will start with ten of wands all right, so the Ten of Wands really tells me that you are the type of person that puts in a massive amount of effort into any relationship you value, okay? Because like I said, you are the type of person that gives value, so people tend to give value back. And you're very good at um, delayed gratification because you know that people, like, it takes investment, right? It takes... Um, time and investment and effort to basically, um, you know, into like giving people chances, but you also know when to quit it too. Like when you notice that that person is not really giving you the same kind of quality love, then you know how to protect yourself. That's why the black tourmaline has come out for you guys. Um, but 10 of wands really also talks about, um, like when you're investing in people, it's almost like you know to invest in people rather than money, right? Because money come and go, but people, it's hard to, you know what I mean? So great success for you. This is this is a very successful card because it talks about your journey is coming to a, like, like the end of the that cycle so that you're actually going to be able to reap rewards fairly, very soon. Um, the Eight of Swords for me, in, in this particular reading, actually, let me put this down. So the Eight of Swords for me in this particular reading is basically, it's emphasizing your willingness to actually blindfold yourself, right? Because this card can really talk about self-imposed, um, you know, stagnation or whatever. You're doing it onto yourself to kind of like develop another kind of perspective, right? Or you being stuck on purpose. So... It can also talk about mind chatter too, but this in particular, it talks about that. So it also talks about a lot of self-control. So you have a lot of self-control and that's why you're able to control um, your the way you convey your message to people in a way that people can digest it and they're not offended if it's something of a con constructive criticism, okay? You have a very tactful way to do that. And I, I commend you on that because that takes a lot of skill. Um, and, and you're not too quick to judge someone, okay? So, like, you don't give out slander to another person for the sake of winning. You're not about that at all. You basically, you hear people out, and then you go from there, okay? So, with this, self-imposed imprisonment is actually a really positive thing for this particular reading, okay? Group number two, um, 
you have a lot of control and you, you, it's, a, it's almost like you have control of your reactiveness to things and you're basically like a social guru. Grasshopper and shine within. You take a leap of faith. You're going to shine. Um, this is really like for me, I really honestly feel like shine from within for me. Wow. Sorry. Like I totally like blanked out for a second, but they were showing me another scene. Okay. And it's a scene of. I don't know why I was seeing money burning, but, and it's burning quickly, right? But people do not, is the saying. It's kind of weird. I don't know if you heard about this quote, of this quote. It says, money burns easily, but people do not, all right? Not that you're literally burning someone. I'm just saying, what it really means is that we're not talking about literal burning of a human being. It's talking about, no, 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 that's not a good thing, okay? But what it means is that money goes away quickly, but when you have loyal friends and family, that's most likely for life, all right? So invest in people, all right? You guys are great at investing in people. That really, that is amazing. You're able to not only shine from within for yourself, you help other people to shine from within. And that's your talent. That's your major talent here. Because you take a leap of faith. That's the great, that's the one most wonderful thing about you so let's move forward group number two we're nearing towards the end of your reading let's see what kind of personal personality or physical trait okay that that i have um put together here through scientific studies um research that i looked through from online and let's see you may have so exciting let's see okay i'm gonna close my eyes Oh, two. Okay. Wow. All right. So group number two, you've got two, but let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, look at that. So for those of you, for those of you who have darker eyes, you have body intelligence and you have quick reaction time. So not only do you have social ability, you have a way to that you move your body in a way that's very very um agile you're very agile and and that like really helps you to move through um and be very healthy too so you have body intelligence so listen to your body so when you're like in need of taking rest or anything like that balance it out oh okay that's why two of ariel darker eyes so let's see what the other one is Wow, <laughs> this is synchronistic, I told you. All right, so for your group, like I said before, you have um, control with your impulses, okay? And look, control impulses. You guys definitely have the ability to control your impulses in ways that is very genius because with control, a lot of people, you know, when you, especially your group number two, you guys have the ability to really think things through before you say things. And that's why that is why you guys are social geniuses because you guys know how to take some time, slow it down, right? Where's that eight of swords? Yes. Slow it down. When you're in a meeting or doing anything like that and you're always talking to people, right? You are very good at slowing things down within your mind so that you don't take things personally. And you know, you're such a genius that you know that even though if they're coming at you with like words that aren't so kind, you, you don't take that personal, okay? But you come at it from an objective point of view or something that will teach them or help them. So you guys are really awesome. Let's actually pick out a few. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick out a few charms for you guys to see what more insights you have, all right? Oh, that feels like a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. So group number two, you've got the school bus. And this really ties into, you are almost like the bus driver. You are driving that school bus for all the students to kind of learn something, right? You're taking them to learn something. And this is really awesome. This is talking about leadership and also you being the conduit for spirit, right? Because you're like, you're there their protector as well because you know bus drivers they have um if you are a bus driver too if you're watching this i commend you and i thank you for taking really great care of all the people that is riding on your bus because for you to stay safe and though most buses don't have um seat belts you know especially back in the days right they don't have seat belts but you are able to keep 
the the kids safe or or your uh, you know the people safe and things like that and that's a lot of work right and driving that big bus that's that's pretty cool um for some of you you guys love to scavenger hunt or find like treasure hunt because even though right when this puzzle piece came out i immediately got scavenger hunt because I think that some of you guys love, because you're social butterflies, you are more of, you, you're you not likely to, well, to sit down and, and, and do stuff sitting down. You're more of walking around. So in a way, your, your huge intelligence is with finding puzzle pieces to put together. You're very good at that. Oh, and you are the magician. This is the magician hat here. Okay, so you basically create and you manifest through your ability, through social ability, and then you fix whatever the, the hammer really talks about. You um, nailing things up on the uh, top of the nail, right? The head, ah, I can't even say it right. But you know what I mean, like that saying where you're hitting it right on the nail. Yeah, this is you. This is you always being able to kind of tap in to people's um, emotions in a sense, but more of you have the ability to really um, help people to fix their problems too, okay? And to show them, oh wow, very synchronistic. This uh, mirror shine from within card really matches up. And then it also matches up, I think group number, another group also has this. So you might actually tie into that group as well, group number one, I think, yeah. Wow. Okay. And then for some of you, you're very, oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. So group number two, you've got the baking tray. So that really tells me that you, you love to give food to people, especially sweets. Okay. To kind of calm them down or like you are probably the person who actually does the refreshment center. All right. So, and the whale really talks about, um, you're very playful and you have you like a big playground so you really really like to travel all right so wow okay group number two. Oh wait i'm missing one and spirit's like no you're missing one okay ah okay so i've got the cowboy boot here you might actually like country music because when i touched this immediately i heard a country song i don't really know the i forgot the name of it but it was a beautiful country song that my sister used to always listen to um but this really talks about either you live down south or somewhere around that region in the U.S. Or so, or if you do live in different countries, you basically like country music for some reason. All right. So with that said, group number two, I'm so happy for you guys. You guys are social geniuses. So take that. Claim it. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Hi, group number three. Thanks for joining me here. So if you pick out this timestamp, it is for group number three. All right. Group three, you picked out the amethyst pendulum here okay so this is really tying into a lot of swaying back and forth but you have the ability to really really tap into your emotional state so this really tells me that you basically um you guys are basically the emotional geniuses sorry i felt like i i felt really laid back for some reason <laughs> i don't know why um, I feel really, 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 I'm tap, I'm tap, I'm definitely tapping into a bunch of you that you basically just basically set yourself up in a way that was like, whoa, you're, you can really relax for some reason. I don't know what you just did, but okay. So <laughs> let's get started. But before I move forward, um, don't forget to stay until the end because I'm actually going to pick out, this is the jar filled with, um, you know, personality traits and, or maybe even physical traits. And I'm going to pull out some charms at the end too, okay? So, all right. Let's see. Group number three. You've got success. Orpiment. That is a gorgeous stone. Five of Raphael. Wish wisely. Ah. ah. Acceptance. Ooh, starfish spirit. Open to infinite possibilities. That is amazing i'll actually put that right underneath the orbit cat spirit claim your independence yes i think i i probably have like a lot of cat people here two of cups the high priestess yes that makes total sense because the amethyst stone i mean it's a universal stone you can utilize that for basically any type of energy but it really taps into the high priestess energy Seven of Pentacles. Oh. 
Seven of Swords. Okay. Ah, the devil. Huh. Interesting. Let me actually put that here so you can kind of see it. And the fool. Ah, oh, that is actually really good. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put it, the fool right next to the starfish spirit because it really talks about new beginnings too, okay? So, group number three. Um, um, I've started with the crystal card for every other pile, so let me just start with that. All right, so when I tap into this stone, it's basically a manifestation stone, okay? So if you're trying to manifest something, that's awesome because you're going on the right track is basically what the validation is. But it really ties into your sacral chakra and your solar plexus because as you can see, you've got the orange on the middle and then our trimming around the, the crystal is basically the yellow, right? The solar plexus. So basically, this is telling me that your... Um, your creativity is sparked and 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 is being able to to move forward in such a tremendous way through your solar plexus so you have to trust your ability to do that that's talking about inner strength and it's talking about how strongly you feel about things so trust your emotions go with the gut first okay before you think with your mind basically is what spirit is you know suggesting um it's like you will succeed with what you create, right? Because you, you've got the success word down here. And this crystal really speaks of setting your intentions with strong feelings too. So uh, go with your, set your intentions and go with your feelings is what is basically what it is stating. Um, since we're on the path of, you know, that, I really want to talk about, where was that card I just saw earlier? Ah, did I lose it? Yeah, I thought there was like a, I really, oh, okay. Oh, that's probably why I saw number five change, right? Five of Raphael. Um, so for me, because I, I feel like you're very empathic. Okay. So this is, this is the emotional intelligence group and you guys have this way of like moving towards the situation with tenderness right with others especially so you're most likely to be like the first person to reach out to your loved ones if something goes down like according and when things happen shit hits the fan and you're like oh this person really needs support you're that person to call them first okay but you always show people the silver lining no matter what the situation may be now you're giving them hope and and a lot of faith and you look towards the the future in a really positive light so with that said though um let's see happiness because it's green and it's it's Raphael it really talks about the heart chakra as well I'm surprised nothing about the heart chakra came out oh actually no that's why I was wrong two of cups that's what it is so basically that's harmony right but we'll talk about two of cups after because I feel like there's more to that story line right and it feels like there's something about, um, when I saw that, what was the card? Yes. When I saw this here just now, wish wisely and acceptance immediately. Beautiful, beautiful fairy deck. Okay. So this really tells me that you are super skilled in creating and manifesting your wishes by um, the art of setting your intentions, okay, with your feelings. So go with that. Manifest. And, and really take a leap of faith, all right? Because the full card is here. You really know how you feel and, and you use that to your advantage, basically. When you get in the zone, when I tap into your energies, when you get in the zone, it's like you're, you, um, you feel like you already have it and that's why it manifests much quicker than most people. You've got it. You've got, you are basically the true alchemist here, okay? I literally tap into that energy like tr tremendously. But when I... Um, Let's see, where is it? Start, yes. We'll talk about Wish Wisely after. All right, so acceptance and starfish really ties in together too, and the fool, okay? So when I see, right, the starfish spirit, it's like, it's like you have, like you hold the utmost power of potential, right? Because open to infinite possibilities really is telling me that you are a vast of emotional intelligence. You are so connected within yourself, all right? And it really, sorry, um, your emotional intelligence can be deemed genius, 
at points too because it puts you in a whole new ball game from other people um, because of the kind of awareness that you see. So you see things clearly and can feel things very well. So self-awareness is deemed great intelligence too, according to scientific studies, okay? So this really leads to like self-worth, self-respect, and it also leads to, um, oh yes, yes. I heard cat and then I was like, didn't we get that card? All right, so cat spirit. It really leads to the cat spirit because for me, well, I'm a cat person too. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm all animals, but you know, I really do love cats. I connect with cats a lot. But the reason why is because as you may already know, cats are amazingly very independent creatures. <laughs> like they, they have their healthy boundaries set. Like they know when to like go and, and do their own thing and when to come and seek for their affection when they desire it, right? They will seek for affection only when they feel they're ready and they, you know, go run off and do their own thing when they want to be alone. So they they have a very good balance of that. And they never feel pressured to be there just because, right? They don't seek for attention or extra attention more than they really need, okay? So that is like emotional intelligence that the kind of level that you have and beyond. So it all, it really ties into um, the self-worth aspect of, of your awareness. Like you really, really have like a very healthy self-worth awareness oh wow okay yes that's why the orpiment card came out that's why okay because this is also self-worth and through self-worth you're gonna find success in life that is crazy i didn't my gosh okay so when i <laughs> that's funny so when i see um you know i really really want to talk about the wish wisely too because because you're such a great manifester, right? Again, Wish Wisely is like that too. But it really tells me that you are super skilled in creating and manifesting your wishes, um, you know, by through the intentions, right? So like I said, you earlier, I did talk about the Wish Wisely and it really talks about you really, really knowing where to go with this. And I don't know why I felt the need to talk about it some more and some more for some reason, but... For some of you, oh, that's why. Okay, because I'm channeling right now. So basically, wish wisely and the two of cups. So for some of you, okay, you guys have the answers. You guys are able to kind of know, like when you sit next to a person through your emotional intelligence too, and you're kind of like very empathic as well, but you are very good with handling your emotions. Because of that, you're able to kind of see other people's emotional intelligent level right everybody has a certain level like you know some have more some have less right but you are able to tap in to kind of see how they learn see how they do things and you harmonize right so um there's a misconception out there for a lot of people that harmony is 50 50 it really isn't okay so it, when it comes to two of cups it speaks of unified relationships all right so hear me out so basically harmony for me, um, from what I learned, is that harmony doesn't always mean 50-50. It just basically means that in order to cohesively operate, right, under the same roof, if you guys want to like mel and, and be like flowy, y'all have to take responsibilities according to each person's ability at the time, right? So you can switch up when you need to, is basically what I'm saying. You switch up your responsibilities according to the energy flow, but you guys work cohesively together in a way that really showcase the ability to really flow, uh, like really create a good flow of operations, okay? So that's really huge. And you guys have, because you are geniuses in your emotional intelligent um, field, you guys ba basically, almost everywhere you go, you're able to create that kind of energy. You work very well with other people because of that. And that is a lot of skill that is a lot of skill okay because the high priestess also talks about that too see you guys got the high priestess and i'm like amethyst and high priestess really ties in together okay it's amazing and you've got the tree of life attached to the bottom but that's not part of the thing but anyways so back to the reading so the high priestess for me it's like it's the all-knowing without having to say a word you guys have the ability to basically feel your feelings, feel your emotions, 
um, learn from them and then utilize what you learn and move forward and, and help people through that, right? You teach people how to tap into their emotions, all right? That's amazing. That's actually the new PAVE um, path for society uh, moving forward from now on after 2020. This is 2021 now, so that's the, that's the um, foresight that I saw. You know, I get visions. Um, sometimes sporadically, sometimes um, intentionally through dreams and things like that too. I have prophetic dreams, um, but I that's the pay the new the new order the new world that's happening. It's happening right now as we speak. So we are tapping more into our feminine energy because the high priestess is all about that too, and we are tapping in whether you're a guy or girl it doesn't matter. We all have both sides to us, right? But the feminine energy is really coming bursting out with just so much flavor and deliciousness now. Like you guys are definitely tapping into the high priestess and you guys are geniuses at that, okay? Emotional intelligence is where it's at, I'm telling you. All right, so, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so seven of pentacles. Okay, seven of pentacles and I believe we can talk about that with the seven of swords. Whew, okay, so. Let's talk about Seven of Pentacles first, because that's, to me, I think that it really taps into the investment, that all of that knowledge, all of that like brewing, all of that learning, all of those things that you did in the past, and you planted those seeds, right, and people, and, and you're teaching people how to be uh, better people too, as you walk through your own journey. So what I'm seeing is Seven of Pentacles really talk about you um, persevering and also you know how to wait. You have a lot of patience too. And you have a lot of patience with people. And that really ties into the emotional intelligent part of you that you know that everybody has their time, their divine timing, things like that. So you are basically all about harmonizing two of cups. That is crazy. All right. Seven of swords. Um, a lot of people would be like, oh, wow. What's the positive aspect of this? Well, the positive aspect of this is basically because it's all mostly positive um, you know messages here because i feel like that's something that that you guys need at this moment and when i tap into the seven of swords this tells me that you because you have a strong ability to feel out the situation through your empathic nature you tend to be able to like kind of like slip away from the unfavorable situations right like like flocks you're very sly but in a very good way so that's very good that's what i'm seeing you're able to protect yourself in that in that aspect because when you <laughs> You know, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of a little freaked out when I saw the double card, but then I was like, yeah, I have nothing to fear, I'm not afraid. But when I see <laughs> when I see the double card, it really talks about control and attachment, but don't take this the wrong way, okay? But with the double card, when it shows up, it really can also talk about the puppet master behind the scenes, right? So, but if I'm looking at it in a very positive outlook, it really just means that you have cultivated so much ability within the emotional intelligence that you are kind of like the puppet master, right? Just like in a very positive way, you're able to kind of um, guide people into the direction they need to go, all right? To steer them in a very positive way, right? Um, I use, you know, this term loosely, but you guys are able to steer people in a very good way. So you steer others to like see what they didn't see before and um, do... You basically bring people closer to what they're meant to do as well, okay? But with that said, when you're operating under selfish reasons, okay, I kind of have to give you a little bit on the, the negative aspect too. So basically, when you do operate and you're not in equilibrium and you're not in your right mind, you can manipulate others without them realizing you are. You might not even realize you're doing it. But that's something to be mindful about. That's why you are... Um, you know, we're not perfect, right? So you do have your good days and your bad days. You have a lot of more, a lot more good days than bad days. But when you do are, when you're in that zone of like, ah, nothing's working out and you're kind of like, you know, a little pessimist for that time, I would be, you know, I would actually isolate yourself just for a little bit to kind of go back into equilibrium before because you can tend to tap into the manipulator energy and that's something that can go either way, right? Because y'all are super powerful, I'm telling you, number three. Empaths, you know, you guys are definitely empaths. You've got the um, you've got the high priestess here. And then um, 
like I said, you're energy manipulators, you're manifestors. So let's keep it on the positive side, okay? So don't operate your powers <laughs> while you're upset. It's a no-no. No manifesting while you're mad, all right? So that's not a good thing. But you guys are amazing. You guys really are amazing because you're able to kind of take a leap of faith as well. And look at this, your acceptance of others, the, the kind of like, and your acceptance of yourself and your, you know, when I see this here, the fool, there, there's actually, this plays on two different aspects here. So one is that you don't, it, it does not take you, actually, no, what I'm hearing is, excuse me, whew, my burping. So one is that, um, I hear the phrase, don't take you for a fool. I don't know if that's something you've said in the past, but it's almost like that too. It's like, don't, oh, that's why. Okay. Because in the past you've been betrayed, right? So now your energy is don't take me for a fool. I know more than you think, right? Wow. <laughs> it just got goosebumps on my shoulders. Okay. So also, it also means that another side is that um, the full card here can really speak of how you're able to feel out great opportunities. So you take a leap, uh, a leap, a leap of faith on them. Okay, so you're very good with that. Wow, group number three, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with this because I'm excited to see what your personality trait or physical feature may be. So let's see here. Group number three, what we've got here. Let me close my eyes. So you may or may not resonate with all of them, but you know, it's just more insights in terms of what this may mean for you. Wow. Wow. You guys got four. <laughs> I think group number one also has four attributes too, but let's see what's going on. I'm so excited. I love these. These are fun to make. All right. So according to scientific studies, so people with larger lips are very caring. So if you guys have large lips, ah, that is so amazing. That really taps into the uh, the two of cups. Yay! I have large large lips, so <laughs> I'm very caring. That really makes sense. Okay, so next one. Ooh, intelligent because you know when something needs to change. Wow, tell you you are intelligent because you know when something needs to change. So it doesn't matter if you fall into one of the four category or all four or um, whichever, four, you know, one that you fall into, basically any type of intelligence, right? When you know it, you know, it really speaks of genius when you actually admit to yourself that you don't know everything and, and you know that something needs to change because you're not delusional. You're not, um, you're not um, insane because the, you know, the definition of of insanity is basically doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result right you know when to change and when to amp it up when you need to and twist and turn whichever way you need to to get things done the right way now wow that's amazing okay so next one is boom ah wow that's crazy how i got the i pull out the larger lips and i also pulled out the medium lips for, for those of you oh look at that medium lips independent no bs that ties into, oh my gosh, you guys saw me pull this, right? No lie, like this is crazy. Cat spirit, that is what, so medium lips people are very independent and they don't like bullshit. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Wow, I love that. I love that a lot. Okay, so last, ah, lighter eyes, self-pacing, yes. <gasps> Okay, so that actually ties in, wow, lots of, loads of synchronicity here for group number three. So lighter eyes, so you might actually have, um, even in this picture, she has blue eyes. So you might have blue eyes or green eyes or like a really hazelnut eye, um, as opposed to having like a uh, dark brown or, you know, darker, darker brown or black or whatever, um, or a brown, regular brown. But anyway, so self-pacing really means self-acceptance too, because you are accepting your own path, and that takes genius. Because a lot of, a lot of us, um, you know, we we tend to be really hard on ourselves, but ones that really know to accept themselves for who they are, they have. It's like basically you you're within this reading because you picked group number three. So basically, you. I don't mean they. I mean you you have the ability to really, really accept the situation for whatever is going on and really pace yourself and you honor your journey. That's a great thing. Wow, that's amazing. 
that talks about a different kind of intelligence, but let me actually close my eyes and pick out a few of the charms for you, okay? So I know you guys like that, and I like it too. I like picking them out and interpreting them. All right, let's see. All right, wow, look at that. You've got the lighthouse. You guys are definitely guides. You guys are... Um, it's either you live by the beach and there's a lighthouse that you look at day in and day out before you go to sleep and when you wake up. That's that's not for a lot of people, but that is for someone out there that really resonates with this, this reading here. And this came out for a reason and I was guided to talk about that. And some of you have this like inner knowing that mermaids um, exists somewhere out there in the spiritual realm in a different planetary system or something like that, or even within our waters. Because remember, our planet is made up of more than 70% of water and only a small fraction or less, I think it's like less than 10% has been dis um, you like, you know, probed and, and, you know, studied and stuff like that. So there's a lot more uh about the sea that we don't know um you know in comparison to earth right to like the lands so mermaids you guys definitely relate to mermaids um oh the sun so yes the beach for sure or you love being outside or like so all of these really ties in together because the sun also talks about you either love sunflowers because i see that image just now or um, you basically, like I said, you live by the beach and you love being out in the sun. Even if you don't live by the beach, you love being outside, okay? And dragonflies really ties into the fairy because um, in the future, I will, I actually have my story time channel and in the future, I will be talking about how I saw the fairy and things like that. And it was, it was really insane and how it turned into a dragonfly right in front of my eyes. But anyways, that's for another time. Um, but that's, that's what it's about. It's about magic. Okay. It's about like, you know, you seeing things, more things than most people you're basically tapping into the, and it talks about transformation too, like major transformation when it comes to the emotional intelligence. And for some, you guys, um, really resonate with hockey for some reason or sports or something with, with that. Right. But look at this. Wow. Look at this. The shoe horse. Horseshoe. Sorry, I said that backwards. Horseshoe. That's a sign for good luck. So you guys are very lucky people. That is crazy. Anyways, group number three. I really had a lot of fun with you guys. Um, feel free to check out all my other videos. Subscribe if you'd like. I'll see you guys next time. Hi, group number four. Thanks for joining me here. So have you picked out this timestamp? It is for group number four. All right. Before I start, you did pick out the lapis lazuli right? There's a lot of possibilities here, but let's see. Um, once I open that up, I'll see which group you are. Okay. So now, but, um, don't forget to stay until the end of your reading because I will actually be pulling out a bonus, um, you know, picking of the physical or personality traits, um, and then also some charms later on. Okay. So to give you more insights. All right. So let's move forward here. Group number four. Crystal card is Azorite, expanded awareness, yes. Five of Ariel. Find balance, okay. Hope. Ooh, Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Okay, already I'm noticing. And because um, all the other piles have kind of like categorized, um, has been like, you know, set in terms of what their geniuses are. And you basically, group number four already, I am noticing that you guys are analytical, right? You you love reading comprehension and problem solving too. Because um, Deep Dive really talks about um, problem solving. So let's see, what else? Kyle Spirit, the miracles are endless. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. King of Swords, like I said, I'll, I'll elaborate why the King of Swords is really like, really confirming, you know, that you guys are definitely intellectuals. Eight of Wands. Ooh, the Hermit, very wise. See, I told you. 
The Lovers, The Magician, and The Six of Pentacles. You guys are definitely deep thinkers, that's for sure. All right, let's try to keep this nice and neat. <sighs> okay, let's take a couple moments here. All right, so you've got the Azorite, right? Wow. Not only are you a great problem solver, when I'm looking at this card, clue number four, you guys are a huge part of your expanded awareness. Um, it actually helps propel your academic performance, okay? So it's not that you're like, not just, not only are you like naturally talented in academics, but because you guys tap in through your, your, your third eye, and your crown chakra as well because azorite really is about that type of stone that helps you tap into that part of you like having foresight um but you're able to gauge on what is highly or likely to happen in the future as well if you make a certain move in life okay so that's very impressive this is talking about you really tapping into your king of swords energy all right actually let me put this down here so i can elaborate more on the king of swords group number four you guys yes i said you guys are like whether you're a girl or a guy doesn't matter but your energy oh my gosh you guys are leaders okay intellectual power mental clarity right that's the card of the king of swords um so already i can see that you're a very deep thinkers and um usually you do very well academically like i said right but you love finding out the truth on any topic because the diving deep one the swan spirit there you go. I like sound effects. Uh, okay, so the <laughs> the King of Swords really talks about that. And it talks about you working so hard to get clarity, to gain clarity. Because you guys are, are very objective, practical thinkers too. But you guys are able to kind of tap into possibilities, right? Infinite possibilities. You guys really know that that, um, that really plays a part, a huge part in life, right? Because you know that you don't know everything. So you're, you have fun diving deeper, right? So to be honest, the word, um, let's see, the word enough isn't really enough. Like you always, you have a very insatiable quench for knowledge, right? Like very insatiable, like you, it's almost like you can't really satisfy it in a way, but then you do, but it's very short term because you guys are always looking for more things to learn. Okay. Um, so Basically, you have a thirst for life, right? Um, what I'm also picking up too is that you um, you may resonate with reading books and you do a lot of research. You basically can research all day long without feeling defeated. Um, but sometimes this can tie into, oh my gosh. Yes, this can really tie, like I said, this can really tie into you not taking care of yourself physically. You, you're, and... Um, I'm seeing a very messy desk and a very messy hair. Not to say that you have that all the time, but when you do get in the zone, you tend to forget about yourself. So please take good care of yourself, okay? That's very important. Balance. Balance is really important, okay? So, um, you know, it's like the five of Ariel for me. When I see this card, because I'm really, when I looked down, I saw the pink and I was like, oh, five of Ariel. So because your mind is always accelerating at such a rapid speed, it's important to keep your negative thoughts at bay, okay? So group number four, you guys are very highly intelligent. You guys are high intellectual people. But y'all need to really, really tone down the pessimism sometimes. Gotta give it to you. It's just part of nature. It's part of your nature, right? Being a genius. You see all sides and all aspects. That's why you tend to to see a lot of negative things because you've got the polarity happening back and forth, back and forth. And it's sometimes in human nature, we tend to look at the bad things more than the good, right? It's just part of human nature. So keep in mind to balance your, yourself out, okay? So um, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just lovingly reminding you to really take good care of yourself physically, you know, even though you guys are, you know, bookworms or whatever, if not. Um, but it's it's just coming from I and I totally relate to it too because sometimes when I'm so focused on something I forget to take care of myself right so I'm speaking of someone uh, coming from someone who really understands you in that manner you know but okay so basically when I look at this card it also talks about um you're not meant to walk alone in this life you are meant to have people supporting you as well for some reason that was a big that was a big thing because 
um, highly intelligent people, when it comes to academics, they tend to feel like a loner. Okay, so five of Ariel really emphasize that you are not meant to be alone and you are meant to find balance as well. So um, I think the finding balance card came out here. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, so find balance, the lovers, right? But let's talk about find balance first. Okay, so group number four, you guys are very, very intelligent when it comes to academics, right? But you guys need to learn how to balance things out. So this is telling me that when you are engaged in a project, like I said, you tend to be super focused and you can spend hours on end without self-care, like I said, right? So now, um, you know, I'm just speaking from someone who understands that part because I mean, I don't know everything, but when I do, I love researching and things like that. So when I do get like really excited about learning, that's um, something that, that can kind of trigger like um, neglect, self-neglect, right? So don't forget to drink a lot of water. That's why I always have a glass of water next to me um, most of the time, right? Um, and then, you know, like the hope, where's that hope card that I saw earlier? So when... I'll get back into the lovers in a bit, but spirit is actually moving me towards the hope because I'm noticing like, because you know so much and you see the negative side of things too, in a way it's like, it's all right, um, you know? So for the academic geniuses, when this hope card comes out, it just means that because you see those possibilities, you tend to spiral down that 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 path right and you're like will good prevail the answer is yes <laughs> the good will prevail the trick is to focus on unified love my friends all right so have hope and understand that yes you see those bad things happening but guess what that's why you incarnated as the genius that you are right now to make that change okay and it takes one person at a time it takes that one step at a time. And I'm talking about this and I'm getting choked up because I really truly believe that we can make a change in this world um, by just making those small steps. Sorry, if you can hear my stomach, I'm very hungry, but um, I'm very, very like, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I love doing readings for you guys. So here I am, but hope <laughs> you guys don't give up. Don't give up on yourselves. This is something that someone need needed to hear, okay? Because Swan Spirit, time to d dive deep within yourself, right? Um, this card, I love swans, okay? Because they're very loyal, loyal animals. And when they pick a lover, they really stick to that lover until death in a way. Not to say that if you're not like that, you're not worthy. No, it's not like that. But what I'm trying to say is, I think the lover's card came out. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> love this card. Okay, so the lover's card, when I am tapping into these two cards together, it's like beautiful harmony, beautiful love, and, and beautiful self-love, okay? Dive deep, right? So for your academic and uh, geniuses here, part of being um, an academic in intellect, right? You love to dive deep into your subjects and sometimes topics to you know, uh, that, that really gets you rattled up, right? You fully immerse yourself in the pool of knowledge. That's what you normally do. But this tells me, um, not but, but and, this tells me you cherish uh, depths and layers of everything in general. So you love um, peeling the layers of the onion in a sense. You love the richness, you know, the um, the endless, endless possibilities, the richness of the journey too. So that really actually takes me down to the cow spirit because the cow spirit is really about miracles are endless, right? You're going to find in your journey, on your journey, you're going to find a lot of people helping you out. And it's going to take you, um, some of you are creators, like actual, well, like physical, cre physically creating some type of uh, thing, you know, that will help humanity. Like all of you guys will, but in this particular group, you guys, group number four, you guys will actually create something that is very different but very practical and it's going to help humanity in the sense and i don't know why i feel the need to say that but yeah um cow spirit miracles oh that's why miracles that's what tapped me into it okay so um for cow spirit it's like you pry yourself in being able to see things on earth very clearly and objectively right 
but keep in mind that it's also based upon your own current energy too so that's why i was seeing the spiraling like with the pessimism sometimes because you have um you have the ability to see all sides so just be mindful about that i don't know why i feel like i'm fixated on that negative part let's see that's <laughs> that's so funny so but one thing i was told uh by your guides is that you're always able to bring yourself out okay out of any predicament due to your problems uh solving skill okay so your problem solving ability and your you know your ability to really you have like you're like a library or a dictionary inside your brain so very impressive i'm very um you create miracles for other people too that's what i'm sensing um we already talked about the lovers and then i see the magician and the six of pentacles group number four uh when i see the magician it's it's really talking about you creating results um because you're very resourceful and it comes easily for you because your your expansive mind really helps you and guides you um but you're very very resourceful in that sense right and then the six of pentacles, because you're resourceful and you have a lot of um, ability to gain that material gain, you are also very generous because you have, you hold the energy of gratitude, all right? So because you have like a clear mind and knowing um, what effort you really means, so you usually have a good balance of like giving and receiving, right? So you, um, and when you give, there's no, there's no strings attached. I don't sense that at all. So you give when you want and you take it when you think you deserve it. So this is really cut and dry, like clean and clear. Very, very good energies here. I, You guys are definitely wise. Yes. I'm looking over, trying to see if, they're, if I'm missing anything here. Eight of Wands. Oh, okay. Okay. The Hermit, right? Um, usually academic, intelligent, people tend to isolate themselves in a sense because they need a lot of focus okay so this is grounding energy this is also talking about um coming out the wiser right because you you've immersed yourself in the knowledge right so you can sometimes get lost in your thoughts okay and and in, in your in your quest to find answers to your problems so it's almost like einstein energy so this is when it's important to isolate yourself too um, away from isolation, um, isolating yourself from work as well, not just people, but isolating yourself from work and just zoning out in a very healthy, holistic way, okay, to rejuvenate. That's what I'm saying. The Hermit card can also be, um, you know, it's a, it's a telltale sign that you're, you're being mostly a lone wolf and there's nothing wrong with that, but you, you know that being a lone wolf also can kind of, um, because everybody needs somebody, right? So just be mindful about that energy too. So just um, like what I'm tapping in is that you just have to balance out everything. So overall, this is telling me that um, how, how this is how you find your problem solving, right? You separate yourself from the world a bit, which is really healthy, but, but balance those things out, right? That's what I'm tapping in when I'm tapping into this energy. And when I really look at the eight of wands, um, I'm really like noticing that you are, you can be quick. You, I'm like tapping into fire energy, but at the same time, you're very strategic too. So eight of wands indicate that you tend to move swiftly though. Okay. You move very quickly. Um, and you don't waste time. You cherish time the most actually. Okay, so you don't like to waste other people's time. You don't like to waste your time. You don't like stagnancy. You don't like stuck feelings. You don't like any of that. So you're very strategic in on how to get yourself um, more efficiently to your goals. So this also means that you fuel and you push through um, the obstacles in such a hard force in, and you create that momentum for yourself that actually creates the obstacles to have no choice but to move over for you, okay? So that's a really great thing. I really love the Eight of Wands because it really talks about really great fast pace movement if you've been stuck, which is really awesome. So with that, I wanna go ahead and pick out this here. These are, um, I made up these cards to show uh, because I've, I've done a lot of research and write down the personality traits and physical attributes of uh, geniuses that has been scientifically proven or studied maybe not like you know 100 percent true but you know it could be true for you all right ready group number four 
closing my eyes. And wow, you've got three. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Ah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so for some of you, you guys, you guys have big eyes. That means you're open minded, you're intelligent, and you're friendly. Okay, you've got big eyes. So pat yourself on the back for that. And um, yeah, see, key is moderation. Oh, wow. So I got the chocolate lover. So some of you are chocolate lovers, and this actually stimulates the mental activity, okay? So the key is moderation. That's probably why I wrote that down there. Stimulates the mental activities, but you don't want to overdo it. So everything in moderation, but you guys, yeah, you guys really love chocolate. That's for sure. I, I love chocolate too. Do, 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 do. Rounder face caretakers. Wow. That's, that's funny. Um, cause I do cut, well, well, it depends. I think when I was younger, I had a rounder face, but I do, I'm almost like a caretaker too. <laughs> I love taking care of people. Okay. So let me pick out some charms for you guys and see what else is there. I'm going to close my eyes and feel through, but then just intuitively pick for you. Ooh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so like I said, when you're in the zone, it's almost like couch potato, couch potato mode for geniuses. For academic geniuses, you tend to stay in one spot for a very long time. Start moving them legs because you guys don't want to get blood clots or anything. No, not to scare you. Um, but yes, if you don't move around, um, poor circulation can be the result of it. So not to scare you, but just, you know, just be healthy, right? Just stay healthy. Don't neglect yourself. I'm a huge advocate for that, even though I don't do it very well for myself yet, but I'm a learning progress, I guess, transforming just like this butterfly here. See, you guys are, you guys are very transformational. You guys are always kind of um, changing up the way that you think, um, how you see things. So basically, Academic um, intelligence really show that not only are you like um, book smart, but you are also very good at admitting that you are you don't know everything. So you're, you know, ever changing forever, you know, evolving. Right. And um, for some of you, you might live in the region where there is a lot of snow because I have the snowflake here. But when I see the snowflake, it really taps into the um, individuality, right? You are special the way that you are because there's something about you because every single snowflake has its own special pattern. All right. So under the microscope, you can actually, there's not one snowflake that is the same. So, I mean, there's not, you know what I mean? That is the same as the other one. So they're all unique. So you are very unique. That's what the, the sign is for, right? That's why this charm has come out. And you, like I said, you are able to see things from a wider perspective and you've got the binocular. So you also have foresight as well. And a lot of, um, just intuition, you know, um, with, because you know, like the variables, right? So you take those variables and you play out the possibilities and you're very good at that. But the binocular really talks about focus too. So you're very good at focusing on your target. So that, my friends, group number four, you guys are definitely academic geniuses. Pat yourself on the back for that. And you may resonate with other groups too. So feel free to check those out as well if you'd like. But with that said, I am nearing the end of this video. I love you guys a lot. Um, feel free to check out all my other videos too and subscribe, um, click the notification bell because I upload my pick a cards every weekend, all right?